Walter, please have a seat. You're too kind. Welcome to the Late Show, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have you. Very nice. Thanks so much. Welcome to the Lake Show. I'm Stephen Colbert. Folks, it is Friday. You can you can feel the Friday in the room, can't you? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Right? Friday. Everybody have a good week? Yeah. Well, then none of you are Donald Trump. Because the president's had a bit of a rough patch. He's been ridden hard and put away wet, I believe is the saying. And now there's news about his former national security advisor, uh, Michael Flynn. Remember that guy? He's, um, if you don't remember, he's a white guy, brown hair, about yay in bed with Russia, about this much, <laughs> maybe a little bit more. Flynn, this Flynn, here's the new news. Here's the new news about Flynn. Flynn resigned because he discussed lifting sanctions with the Russian ambassador. Well, funny story, he lied about it to the FBI. And, folks, that is both a no-no and a clink-clink. What? 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 I was gonna take a mulligan. You don't get one free treason? Come on. <laughs> now, it turns out, lying to the FBI is a felony. Flynn's silver lining here, any decision to prosecute would fall to Trump's Justice Department. Wow. I gotta say, this administration has the weirdest meet and greets. <laughs> Jeff Sessions, this is Mike. Don't get used to him. Mike, this is Jeff Sessions. <laughs> Jeff, you'll be prosecuting Mike here. Mike, you can go. But tomorrow, Donald Trump is addressing his problems in Washington by holding a rally in Florida. <laughs> and when you think destinations in Florida, you know it's got to be the happiest place on Earth, the Orlando Melbourne International Airport. <laughs> yes, international, very important, because if the rally doesn't fix everything, he can just jump on a plane to Moscow and he's cool. <laughs> now, if this sounds a little bit like he's holding a campaign rally, uh, that's because Sean Spicer said on Wednesday the event is a campaign rally. <laughs> is, is it election time already? Oh, wow. Again? I, I know it does feel like he's been office for four years, but <laughs> that does seem fast. Now, here's why Trump's doing it. Trump can't enjoy being president because the buzz kills in our intelligence agencies keep leaking that Vladimir Putin might be the real president. So, <laughs> to clean up the leaks, He's bringing in a New York billionaire to lead a broad review of American intelligence agencies. That is surprising that there's a billionaire who wasn't already in Trump's cabinet. <laughs> and, folks, it's not just any billionaire. The guy on the case is Steven Feinberg, founder of Cerberus Capital Management. That's right, Cerberus. <laughs> hey, everybody, we got some image problems. I know. Get me the guy who named his company for the three-headed demon dog that guards hell. <laughs> All right? We're good. We're good. Hey. Nice you got. <laughs> anyway, congrats on the new job, Stephen Feinberg, and have fun working with other Trump appointees like Steve Mnuchin, Steve Bannon, and Steve Miller. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Doris Kearns Goodwin's book about the administration, Team of Steves. <laughs> now, I don't think I'm telling any secrets here when I say that my name is Stephen. And with so many Stevens in the Trump administration, it is a rough time for the Steven community. <laughs> so tonight, I stand up for Steves. Because we Steves are your neighbors. We're your mailmen. We are your brothers-in-law. Seriously, a lot of brothers-in-laws are named Steve. It's weird. <laughs> Steves are honest, hard-working, salt-of-the-earth folks. We're not just a poor man's Greg. We're Steves. <laughs> and we're proud. Yes, we might represent the lesser Baldwins, but <laughs> what would Crosby, Stills, and Nash be without Stephen Stills? Crosby and Nash? Still pretty good folk rock with tight harmonies, but missing that je ne sais Steve. <laughs> and when you want to read a book about a demon clown who kills New England children, do you pick up a book by Bernie King? No. <laughs> you go to Stephen King every time. <laughs> Stevens. Stevens invented the Stone Cold Stunner. Stevens wrote a brief history of time. Any Steves in the house tonight? Yeah! Not many, okay. <laughs> Stand up and be counted anyway. Okay, now sit down. Nobody likes a cocky Steve. <laughs>